does it mean to be a volunteer? So we're so fortunate uh, to have Bill uh, Hitz with us on the uh, on the webinar today. Uh, Dr. Bill Hitz has uh, done volunteer work in food processing with CNFA. Uh, he's retired after a 36 year career in DuPont and DuPont Pioneer, where he did work in stability of uh, oil products and canola and soybean, as well as control of protein oil and carbohydrate content in legume seeds. So Bill, tell us about your experience with uh, the Farmer to Farmer program and, and what volunteers can expect. So I, I'm, I'm Bill Hitz and um, I'll give a short introduction of uh, the CNFA volunteer experience. I'm a retired uh, res researcher for DuPont Pioneer and DuPont uh, Biosciences. Most of my career was as a lab-based researcher in physiology, biochemistry, and molecular genetics, but I do have some background in grain processing from earlier in, earlier in my life, and I grew up on a, a family grain farm. Now, I've done three assignments in South Central Africa, and I'm just finishing up a, a fourth one online with a company in Lilongwe, Malawi. The three assignments that I've done in person are pretty varied, but all have in common that they are a, a business or a process that are, has a challenge and they're trying to correct those challenges. And we tried to do that by just changing the operating procedures that they were using, uh, then writing new standard operating position, pro, procedures after the end of the assignment. So if part of your work life has been being a problem solver, it can very likely be helpful to these folks who are trying to start or trying to run food processing business or, or after uh, harvest grain handling businesses in these countries. Assignments are run so that as a volunteer, you have time to, to prepare before you arrive at the host site. In some cases, you have the chance to email back and forth and to get specifics and to try to do the best job that you can from a distance of identifying main problems in the the solutions that you can try once you get on site with the host. In each of my assignments, we've run the process that we were setting out to work on multiple times over two weeks. You're functioning as a teacher in addition to being a consultant. I've taken pipettes, balances, sleeves of media plates, uh, my home brewing cleaning supplies, and many other things in a second check bag I leave a little note for TSA, they always open it, but most of that stuff gets through. For teaching and communicating in the two projects that needed them, I had a good and technically educated translator. For lecture, lecture presentations and for writing documents in Chichewa at the end. English is pretty widespread, so in each of my projects, projects I've had at least some students that I can work with one-on-one -on -one as well as through a translator. In the three in-person assignments, we made product that was better than the process was making before we started. In the case of soy milk and cornflakes, the changes were good enough that we could make product consistently in the, in, in the, with the equipment that was installed as it, as it was. With the sunflower oil refining, we made clear oil, but not consistently. But we did identify some processes and some engineering changes that I think should make it consistent with, with time. These projects are with newer enterprises that have many challenges. And it's not likely that you're going to solve every problem that they have, or maybe even get to a really functioning business in one project. But hopefully you can work on the main product problem that you found and give them enough insight into problem solving that they can make progress going forward. You get to work with a group of folks who are interesting. Uh, they are interested in their process, and they're actually eager students. They tend to be on the young side, but not exclusively. The countryside is varied. It's agricultural. You might go in the cool, dry season where everything is brown, or in the wet season, which is much like Midwestern summer. You see a very different culture, but one, in my experience, has been very polite, orderly, and, respect and respectful of the help that you're trying to give. I have not extended my trips, but I've had time to go sightseeing on the weekends, and you see, a, again, a, ver a varied countryside. So to conclude, I would like to continue doing this kind of work, and I'd go back to uh, 
Malawi or Zambia if a suitable assignment comes up in the future as the ability to travel returns. The online project that I'm finished now has also been quite satisfying. I think it did help that I was able to, I had seen the kinds of environment these folks work in, but actually for some projects, I think that online is actually a good way of, of helping and is a nice experience. That's all I have.